Now I'm going to show you how to make something called a compound path. And basically, a compound path is just when you stick two or more shapes over each other. They affect each other. You create kind of a, a it's called a compound path is because you compound two uh, thing, two or more things together. Sort of like when you have a compound word like don't is do not. You basically have combined two words into one word, made one word out of it. So that's kind of what we're going to do, but with shapes. First, we need to make a couple of shapes. So let's take our rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw a rectangle, or no, a square. I'm going to hold down my shift key. And now I have one. I'm going to add um, a color to it. Uh, and right now it's it's showing the stroke button, but I don't want the stroke. I'm just going to color uh, fill, color the fill. So let's pick pink. All right, so there we go. Now I'm going to click away from that. Whoops. I'm going to click away from that. I am. And I'm going to create another shape, but this time I'm going to create an ellipse, uh, which we also call a circle. And there it is. And the same thing. I'm going to, I'm going to fill it with yellow. And, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm going to fill it with yellow, and then I'm going to fill the stroke. Or, I'm not going to have any stroke. So now I have two shapes, and I'm going to actually place one shape over the other. Now, in InDesign, you don't have, it, your objects are not on separate layers. Rather, they are in separate levels. So the level of the yellow circle is higher than the level of the pink square. I'm actually going to move that circle into the center of the square. And basically what happens when you combine these two, whatever the item that's on top, when you make a compound path, which is what we're doing, is making a compound path, whatever the object is on the top, it's going to cut a hole basically in the shape or the shapes below it. So I'm going to, I'm going to move this down, oops, just a little bit, so you can see this. Um, and then I'm going to go to Object, which you can't see, but then I'm going to go down to Paths, and whoops, I'm sorry, I've got to first select both objects, so now both objects are selected, and I'm going to go to Object, Paths, and Make Compound Path. It's also Command 8 or Apple, or Control 8. So when I do that, now you can see where the yellow circle was. It has cut a hole in the pink square. Now you can use your compound paths to create some some interesting um, effects. And this is sort of like the one in, that we should, they show in the book. And so I'll show you kind of how to do that. So I have a square that has a gradient on it. It's sort of my background. And then I have a cyan blue colored circle. And then I have an R for Ralston um, that I created uh, as a, uh, with my text tool. Um, but then I converted it to an outline. So I went to I went to type um, create outlines. All right. So this is actually a, a vector path now. So if I cl click it and hold down my shift key and click the circle, now I'm going to create a compound path of both of these things. And what's going to happen is the place where it overlaps those two objects overlap. It's going to cut a hole in it so that you can see the background through the hole. So let's go ahead and do that. So I go up to Object, Paths, and Make Compound Path. Pink. And so you get what you get is a really interesting shape uh, and design out of that. This one's kind of goofy because it's a very round font with a, around a circle. But you can see that you can create some very interesting things using compound paths.